Prosecutors say the man responsible for several crashes on I-94 in Waukesha County Saturday was driving high. Fox 6's Brett Lavoie joins us live from the Waukesha County Courthouse with why police try to pull him over in the first place. Yeah, police say it was all because of speeding in the city of Waukesha, but then that chase ended up spilling onto I-94 Saturday afternoon, and it caused an innocent driver to suffer multiple broken bones. This is serious. This is horrible. Prosecutors charged 20-year-old Skylar Coe with five felonies and two misdemeanors after a weekend crash in Waukesha County. The state believes that the defendant is also a flight risk, given that he nearly killed two people while trying to flee from being taken into custody. On Saturday, Waukesha police said an officer tried to pull Coe over for speeding and a suspended registration. On Grandview Boulevard, police said Coe didn't stop. Coe took off, heading eastbound on I-94. Waukesha police say they stopped chasing the vehicle vehicle as speeds reached 80 miles an hour, but then Co moved across three lanes of traffic. New DOT video released Monday shows the wreck from a distance. Investigators say Co hit an SUV driven by a 74 year old woman. It rolled over. Prosecutors say the woman suffered two broken arms, a broken nose and four broken ribs. Police say Co hit another SUV before his vehicle spun off the interstate and hit a tree. All the time we get these fleeing cases, you worry someone's going to get hurt. Well, here you go. The crashes shut down I-94 for hours. Tucked in Coe's underwear, police say they found marijuana. Police say Coe admitted to smoking marijuana before driving. He does have a pending charge in Milwaukee, but he has no prior convictions. The court commissioner said his cash bond at $50,000. It is clear that the community needs to be protected from this defendant. And police say that 74 year old woman is recovering tonight. The second driver was not injured. Court records show that Co was in Milwaukee County Court just one week before this crash on a misdemeanor charge of carrying a concealed weapon. Prosecutors say that these alleged crimes are in violation of his bond for that case. Reporting live in Waukesha, Brett Lemoyne, Fox 6 News. Brett, thank you.